Research suggests that EAL pupils have specific written language needs which the national curriculum can't necessarily deal with comprehensively. As part of a DFES initiative, Lambeth LEA have piloted an alternative framework for assessing EAL writing. This involves embedding this EAL assessment practice throughout the whole school and across the curriculum. EAL expert Ross Ferrara has worked closely with St Anne's Primary School in Vauxhall. Ross has trained the staff in implementing this new framework into their everyday practice. One of the main aims of the EAL programme is to develop the knowledge and skills of mainstream teachers in meeting the needs of advanced EAL learners. In this film, we'll see how Ross's EAL program is working in practice, with an in-depth look at detailed assessment, target setting and tracking in ongoing reviews of one pupil's written work. Sally McAvoy was one of the first class teachers that Ross trained. One of the main problems with assessing EAL is that the national curriculum levels uh, do not break down the children's writing. So the actual EAL assessment form um, asks the teachers the questions and the teacher goes in and looks at the children's writing. And it's those smaller targets that we have to plan for and that's what's going to move the child on. Sally in turn has been training other class teachers in this assessment method, including Year 2 teacher Adrian Lecuro. Over two thirds of the class are um, EAL learners, so that means that um, a strong scaffold has to be provided for the um, different language structures across the curriculum. If I put that there, that makes sense. Um, Joseph started the school as a non-English user, so in the last four years he's been developing his English acquisition. My first language is Portuguese, then English, and I know a little, I know Spanish a little bit. It's very important to use the data that you have in school to identify the EAL pupils who are underachieving in writing and having identified those pupils or groups of pupils to then use this assessment framework for analysing their writing, setting targets. From that you're able to track the progress of these groups across the year and across all curriculum areas. As the children progress through the primary school, the demands on them in terms of what they're expected to write grows and they're expected to be able to use and manipulate a number of different genres, which brings with it all the attendant features of the types of language and vocabulary, formal and informal language, and the syntax which, which belongs to all those things. Um, this creates difficulties for the EAL learners because they don't have the experience to be able to manipulate the language and we have to give them explicit opportunities in order to do that. See so how many different sentences we can make that explain and describe their similarities. Using the framework allows us to provide a targeted, focused approach for the pupil which will ensure their language development and progress in writing. So let's go through some of these comments then. So let's see, um, let's pick it apart. So the general comments, is the overall meaning clear? Well, it is, isn't it? Mm. You know exactly. Adrian and Sally are reviewing in detail Adrian's last assessment of Joseph's mm -hmm. writing. Went today, I went to the farm, mm -hmm. saw a hen, mm -hmm. a the fat, fat turkey. turkey. So it's actually trying to use describing words. Yeah. They're still very basic at the moment. Yeah. So we you know, perhaps need to work on those. Yeah. I give the teachers some prompts to help them with the analysis of this writing. And one is a sheet with questions which give them some ideas about what they should be looking for in the writing. And there's also a filled in framework with some prompt questions which will make sure that they are actually looking for the important parts. Uh, the framework has a number of headings. So we might be looking at the text type that the children are using and we'd be considering, well, have they actually written appropriately to that text type? What kind of text is it? It's, it's a recount, it's isn't a, yeah, it? Yeah. It's very, yeah. The day and it's, I went... And it, you know, the, all, all the structures are quite basic, but they... they um, they are, you, you can understand what he's actually trying to yeah. say. We'd be looking at the cohesion of the piece of writing. Have they made appropriate links in the piece? Have they used the appropriate connectives? They are linked, aren't they? He's mm. got his time connectives. Mm. So today, first, then next, mm -hmm. and then after that. It's 
got after. Mm. Time connectives are all there, but I'd like to see in something like this a few more connectives, especially to link his ideas together. Um, verb tenses are often a major difficulty for pupils, and that's another area. Sentence grammar, is this accurate? So mm. his use of tenses, today he's I went to the farm, yeah. I saw, mm -hmm. it was. Mm. I haven't seen any um, anywhere where the tenses tend to get yeah. confused, it is all very much in the past. But then also as well, it's I saw, I saw. Mm. We'd be looking closely at the, the sentence grammar, the syntax that the child is using and there, are, there there are very often difficulties around actual word order, the complexity of sentences. I think his choice of vocabulary in this piece is, is quite weak. He's really um, described all the animals in terms of their colour. He hasn't really you mentioned no. the character of it or he hasn't tried to mm, no. put something quirky in that he saw or he remembered. No, no. It's quite mechanical. And is that I'm following the structure. That's through those structures actually taking on board you know, yeah. those structures that have been given to him. He does tend to stick to it. Yeah. So it's really about now pushing him on. It's really about even yeah. explanations in his writing. But, um, if, okay, and the spelling, that doesn't seem to be a problem, does it? I mean... No. He's very good for learning his um, key words. But they spelling very often is not an issue. The EAL pupils often learn to spell very easily and very quickly. Punctuation similarly can be difficult where the children aren't sure of sentence boundaries. We'd be looking at the general organisation of the piece, so have they organised it appropriately? Have they thought about the audience? Is the register correct? <coughs> um, are his main ideas developed? What do you think? I don't think they really are. They're very, they're, they read more like simple statements. Yeah. You really, um, I'd like to see, especially um, in something like this, connectives in the actual sentences. Right, you yeah. You know, like because, or um, but, but, yeah, or yeah, so, the simple ones, yeah. Um, or even and, because he's u only used it once, so he's only using very basic. So he's not using these compound sentences as no. well, has he? So having analysed the piece of work, I would then look at identifying the particular areas in which the child needs to work. So with this piece of writing, there would be an issue around use of connectives. I would focus on developing a wider range of connectives and I would actually specify the particular connectives. So because is his target to use because mm -hmm. and give his own reasons. If we're using because, um, for what I'd like to see him doing is being able to explain. It's, it's really explaining why using yeah. because. So um, I'd like to, to start working on um, language structures across the curriculum in the present tense using compound sentences. So using because in the present tense. Yes. So we'll meet in about a week and then have a look at another piece that he's done okay. and see if he's used it. A few days later, Adrian's giving Joseph an opportunity to practice his target language in a science lesson. So we're going to be thinking about materials that are O... P. Can you say the word? We're looking for materials that are O... O... Paik. Joseph's writing has improved across the curriculum as a result of all the opportunities he's had in speaking and listening, which has allowed him then to use those language structures to support him in his independent writing. Tell your partner your sentence. The stone is similar to the chair. I don't because it goes hard. Joe, can you tell me your sentence? The sandpaper is similar to the stone because they are both done. Right, so Joseph explains why those materials are similar. He's described them both as dull. I'm pleased with his sentence structure orally, um, but without the support, um, he would find it difficult without that additional language structure as a support and a framework. Targets for um, EAL children aren't really weekly targets. They're targets that stretch across at least half a term, so they're actually confident with using um, sentences, using because, explaining why things happen, how things happen. And the idea is that that feeds through then into the whole of the curriculum. So we're using that word because again 
to explain why the materials are similar. Okay. I think having the goals allows Joseph to know exactly what he needs to do next. So when we're looking at success criteria in our um, lessons, he can have some sense of um, self-achievement by actually looking at that word because and showing how he's actually used the structure to explain and express his, himself. Every week I get an, a different target and it's very easy the target because I can just read the target and then I'll know what to do. This work fits in very well with assessment for learning which all schools are beginning to, to take on. In fact that the child themselves is able to independently look at their work and see whether it's been successful, whether they've met their targets or not. The children usually respond very well to that and we often set up a system where they will go through their piece of writing independently and put ticks or mark in some way the areas that they've achieved against that particular target. So you're setting them really a success criteria. You know, it's um, asking him again and again to explain why, you know... One week later, Adrian and Sally meet again to reassess Joseph's targets. Why all the time? And I've, I've been working... Um, a lot this week with him on explaining why and mm. how. And he, but he seems <clears throat> to have done it here very successfully. Mm. It smells like monkey poo because they don't clean, clean the, the cage. cage. I mean, it's it, he's had a go at the because. Mm. It's not a great example. Um, yeah, <laughs> for a reason, but it, mm. it's an ideal sentence. Mm. You know? And I think as well, when you're using because you're taking a risk because you're having to explain why, so some of the sentence structure um, is becoming a bit confused. And um, there are also spiky, pointy dead flowers. They're spiky because the twits don't want nobody to step there. And I think that's because he's yeah. really beginning to take a risk now and actually explain um, what he's actually thinking. It makes his work more interesting to read because yeah. I'm actually beginning to assess as well um, his ability to express himself. I think this um, has allowed um, Joseph to um, obviously be in role as a character, so he's actually taken on um, the role of another character, so it's been creative writing. Please don't come, mm. and P.S. Mm. Um, and I think that's because monkeys, it's a different yeah. genre, so it's yeah. allowed him to actually experiment with um, using his because sentences. So they don't necessarily have to be the correct answer, so long as he's explained the reason why. Yeah. What do you think about his um, vocabulary? Remember you said before that mm. you didn't think it was as ambitious? Um, we've done a lot of work this week with synonyms for words to describe yeah. Mr and Mrs Trick. Oh, right, so... So it's really um, pulling all those ideas together. What do you think about the progress um, throughout the week? Do you think he might need a bit more time? Yeah, I do think... I think he will need um, more time. At the moment, when he's actually checking his own work, he's still... Um, very much reliant on my teacher's model that I've used on the yeah, board so he's not and the scaffold. Still. And once that's removed, he still finds it quite hard. The week's quite sh it's short a, time. It is to a do short that time, time, you know. If we think about the connectives, they went over three or four weeks as the main yeah. target with smaller yeah. ones in between. It might take the child longer to achieve a target. It's being flexible and making sure that you are having plenty of opportunities to actually talk to the child and look at their work with them so that you're sure that they are actually achieving the target that you've set them. The use of the framework for assessing writing in Lambeth is beginning to show some progress in the children's attainment and I think it's something that we will want to continue to develop and use across as many schools as possible to raise the attainment of our EAL children. For examples of the assessment resources from this programme, go to www.teachers.tv.